What's going on guys? So in this week's rotation, it was almost exclusively affordable hidden gem and or really great affordable fragrances. Almost completely across the board with two new releases in here, from one from Gentleman's Nod and one from Argos. And then like I said, on top of that, a bunch of affordable goodies across the week. So uh, I definitely am excited to talk to you guys about this past week's rotation. And it's week number 133, so stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, we're starting with that really, 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 and I can't stress really enough, great affordable blue fragrance. I picked this 100 ml up as a tester for 30 bucks with a brown tester box on eBay. Did a full review this past week on Rocha Salome. I am loving this. One of the best juniper berry dominant fragrances I've ever smelled. There's a little bit of geranium in here. Provides a little bit of a minty touch. There's a lot more going on here. A little bit of spice and so on. It does have elements of Dolce and Gabbana K, but this is an overall deeper, more well-rounded, better fragrance. And you can get this in the sub $40 price point pretty much at most places that have it in stock as far as discounters are concerned. And like I said, tester bottle, I paid $29.98 before taxes for this. Steel, above average performance, mega hyper crazy versatile, works year round in every situation like i said make sure to check out my full review if you want to go in depth on exactly how it changes on my skin and exactly what i get from it but just know that i'm really loving this one it's a great addition to anyone's collection it's a great standalone if you're just looking for that one fragrance super happy to have this one and it was a pleasure to have in the rotation on sunday and on monday actually during the day was rosa sloan forgot to mention that it was two days straight of me wearing it now I got the shower on Monday, so because it was different out the shower on Tuesday. It was time for a good shave, so I grabbed my Gentleman's Nod and Zaharoff Signature Citrine Shave Set. And of course, when I have the matching fragrance, I give myself a few sprays of the fragrance. And I was loving this beautiful, warm, sweet orange smell that was just radiating all around me on my skin. Beautiful stuff. The aftershave brings out the top note the shave soap brings out some more of the base notes the grooming oil that i do use on my beard brings out more of the base and heart notes and then you get the beautiful gorgeous bright opening of the fragrance so i was getting all facets of this beautiful oil smelling great in the evening so again out the shower used had a good shave with the shave set of zaharoff signature citrine and a few sprays of the fragrance and as far as out the shower on Tuesday night, because this is kind of a combo segment right here for Monday and Tuesday, because the daytime fragrance was the same. But for the gym both days and out the shower on Tuesday was David Beckham Classic Blue. Just a basic shower gel type of scent. Nothing groundbreaking here. Another one I did a full review on if you're interested in hearing more details from me about it. But it's nothing spectacular. It's fresh, it's clean, it's a little aquatic and soapy shower gel type of smell, very aromatic, easy going, not a really strong performer, but I do have weaker fragrances than this. It's okay, sub $20 price point, it's okay. It's nothing anybody needs to run out to get, it's nothing that I am get super excited about, but it is pleasant. You could do worse, but you can definitely do much, much better. It's pretty much strictly going to be a gym and out the shower scent for me. I bought it going into it expecting it to fall into that and my assumption was correct for the most part. So on Monday and Tuesday for the gym, David Beckham Classic Blue as well as out the shower on Tuesday. Now moving into Tuesday. I know I accidentally said Tuesday a few times in the last section because when it's multiple days and most people think Monday to start the week, the way I start my rotations is on Sunday. So that was the Sunday and Monday segment. This is the Tuesday segment and uh, for the gym and out the shower was the same fragrance. We'll discuss that in a minute. But during the day, this was the day I did my live stream with Christian from Argos on this new beautiful release. This is called Adonis Awakens. This is a gorgeous warm wood rose fragrance. Nothing feminine about this rose fragrance, guys. Whew, man, it's very radiant. 
This is strong, warm, and radiant. It has a thickness to it. That beautiful sandalwood that Kristen uses in here, along with the cashmere. Picture the woods of Danye. For those of you that have smelled Danye, one of the previous releases from the house, with a gorgeous rose absolute, a little bit of this raspberry note. You're definitely going to think the color red when you smell this fragrance. It's not overly sweet and fruity. When you see raspberry, you might think it's going to be. Very supportive, nice, light, sweet, juicy fruit undertone. But it's got, it's got some depth to it, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't drastically change. Pretty much that beautiful opening stays for most of the life of the fragrance on down into the early dry down where it turns more into a creamy wood fragrance with a touch of rose in the deeper dry down because there's two different types of rose used. The rose absolute is in the base of the fragrance and it's a powerhouse. If you know anything about Argos fragrances, performance is not an issue. And that's the case here with Adonis Awakens. Uh, they sold out of the first batch there's a second batch that went live a couple of days ago at the recording of this. If you want to check out a carded sample, there's a link down in the link tree in the video description with the 10% off code. Get yourself a carded sample and try this. This is another one of those masculine rose fragrances. And no, it doesn't smell anything like Signature Rosé. That's a rose incense. This is a rose and wood type of fragrance. Fruity, woody, very rose thick thick rose type of fragrance. Beautiful stuff. This really is. This is a breathtaking scent profile for men. It's Argos. Adonis Awakens. Like I said before, I wore the same thing for the gym that morning as I did out the shower. David Beckham Instinct Sport. Now this one, this is my favorite David Beckham fragrance of what I have so far. A little aquatic, some citrus. It's fresh. This one's got a little bit more going on, though a simplistic sport fragrance at its core compared to classic blue. This is some, I really like this one. Look, I paid 16 or $17 for this 50 ml. And this is one I know I'm going to keep going back to. I was very impressed upon my first impressions on a test strip with this one. And then now that I've had time to spend with it on skin and have it open up with my natural oils on my skin, it's, it's so good. That's why I keep wanting to smell it. It's a little fruity. It's a fruity, fresh type of scent. It's not as sporty as the name dictates. The scent profile is a bit more, it's still very casual, but when I think sport fragrances, I usually think aldehydes, grapefruit, and woods. Maybe a little bit of greenery. Here, it's more of a woody aquatic type of scent profile with some fruity nuances, more fruity than citrus, and I really dig it. Decent performer, nothing spectacular, slightly below average, but super cheap. This is a nice little cheap gem. Again, nothing deep, nothing groundbreaking, but damn it, I love the way it smells. Some good stuff. David Beckham Instinct Sport. Moving into Wednesday, this is a beautiful blue fragrance that nobody talks about. You can get it in the low to high 30s from pretty much everywhere you can find it except for Mercedes-Benz themselves. I'm talking about Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. Gorgeous bottle. It's in the Mercedes VIP Club bottles, but it's part of the regular club line. I did a full review on this one as well. It's basically an orange and lavender bomb at the top, but the ginger kind of smooths out the lavender. This one, it's a sparkly type of orange too. God, I love the opening of this fragrance. I really do. The opening is gorgeous on here, as long as you like lavender. As it starts to settle and the orange starts to calm down greatly, the ginger starts to come in a bit more and adds this creaminess. It doesn't become just a soapy aromatic because like I said, there is a lot of lavender. Lavender is from start to finish. Again, so if you don't like lavender, you won't like this. But if you like a good lavender scent, this is a solid blue fragrance. Not your typical blues. Doesn't have ambroxan, ambergris, amber wood, that type of stuff going for it. It's more on the simplistic side, but what it does offer is a smooth, enjoyable, versatile daily wear type of scent at a very affordable price. The quality here is solid. It doesn't come across as too chemically synthetic or anything like that. I wore it out the shower. I wore it during the day as my scent of the day, and I even did two sprays at the gym, so I was rocking this one all day long. It was Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. Moving into Thursday, this is another one that, now I didn't wear this one to the, actually this was an off day, so I didn't go to the gym that day. 
but uh, during the day and again out the shower. Really been digging this one. This is the first original release from Gentleman's Nod. This is called Musashi. There's a story behind this one, and we'll go into that story once I do a full review on this one. I am working on a full review currently for this one. has the coin on the top. This is a yuzu bomb in the opening. If you like yuzu in a fragrance, it's heavily featured here. There's a few other citruses, but it's all about the yuzu. I mean, heavy, gorgeous, bright citrus yuzu. And look, this is top tier quality. This was perfumed at Mon. So this isn't an in-house, you know, mixing oils in a back room. This was done at one of the top flavor houses in the world. And uh, you can tell by the quality in the blend. And as it starts to settle, there's a multitude. There's a green tea extract, and I forgot the other tea that's in here. Very soothing, light, fresh, green herbal nuance to it. As it starts to settle, of course, there's a bit of woods. There's a little touch of floral in here, but that yuzu stays for a long time. I'm actually impressed at how long you get citrus for in this fragrance. Performance so far has been above average. Not quite a beast, but the sillage is kind of in the moderate range. The projection's about average, maybe a little bit better at first. And then, like I said, longevity kind of falling in that seven, eight hour range on my skin so far. So more details coming. I will do a full review in the next week or so. I want to get some more wearings and test sprays out of it first. But during the day and out the shower is the new Musashi from Gentleman's Nod. Oh, and if you want to get a sample and save yourself 10%, again, check that link tree. Check it out for yourself. Moving into Friday, a Hype Beast clone from Armoff, not named Club de Nuit Intense Man. It's Club de Nuit Milestone. The infamous, mega popular, critically acclaimed Creed Millicene Imperial clone. And it's a damn good one. Now, can it touch Creed's quality? Not by a long shot. It outperforms it. It's more synthetic. Of course it does. But it smells close enough. If you like fragrances like Ed Hardy, Love and Luck, and Sean John, Unforgivable, this is a little bit better quality than those and outshines them as far as closer accuracy to what it's replicating and performance. Night and day difference. I get 8 to 10 hours out of this one, more 9 to 10 hours. I just did a full review on this one. I actually dropped that yesterday, the day this goes live. At the recording of this, this review video went live today. So make sure to check that out if you want the full details on this one from me. But sub $40 price point, this is hard to beat, guys. Hype's justified, in my opinion. It's got that fruity, salted melon type of smell that people speak of. Without having melon, uh, there is a C Notes actual oil to it, so I'm sure that's where the saltiness comes from. There's some ambroxan, there's red berries, there's all these different notes that are different from Millicium Imperial, but it replicates the smell pretty accurately. I would say 85 to 90% close to the scent profile, not the quality, but the scent profile. Check this one out if you haven't yet, because like I said, it's a hype beast for a reason. You can see fingerprint magnet catches all the mist from the sprays. The bottle's a pain in the ass, <laughs> as far as stuff like that. But the scent's great during the day. Club de Nuit, milestone. Now I got the shower. <sighs> Man, I haven't wore this one in several weeks. My wife had wore it during the day and uh, it put me in the mood for it, so I gave myself four good sprays when I got out of the shower of Zaharoff Signature Rosé. Still my favorite from the house. It's hard to top. <sighs> Beautiful, fresh Turkish rose, transitions into a more jammy Bulgarian rose, incense the whole way through on my skin, in the air not so much, but on my skin. The incense comes out greatly. A little touch of oud. There's some sweetness without too much sweetness. The blend is gorgeous. Claude Deer knocked it out the park with this fragrance. This, like I said, is still my favorite from the house and one of my absolute favorite fragrances in my collection. This is a lifer for me. If I could only keep 10 fragrances, regardless of niche, design, or cheap, whatever, this makes it. This is that good for me. If you haven't tried it yet, you really should. Those of you that have tried it, you know where I'm coming from. This is masterfully done. People that don't even like rose seem to like this fragrance for the most part. So I actually had two wonderful, wonderful top tier rose fragrances this week with Argos Adonis Awakens and then out the shower, I went with Zaharoff Signature Rose.
finally on Saturday. This is my first full wearing. I've done a bunch of test sprays. I did a first impressions video. I'm working on a battle video between this and Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum because I keep getting asked back and forth, should I get that or should I get Off Non Supremacy Not Only Intense? And it's a close one, guys. Yes, the quality is a little bit better here. It's a very, very, very bitter fragrance. It's a black currant bomb, tart and bitter fruitiness. But like I said, the quality is a little better. I wouldn't call this the most accurate depiction of Creed Aventus, but it definitely does smell like Creed Aventus. Um, whereas with Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum, you still have that lemon, but it's, you know, smoky batch of Aventus, whereas this is still smoky, leathery type of smell. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, no pineapple or anything in here, but it does, or at least I don't really get pineapple. I don't remember the note breakdown specifically. I, I get more black currant than anything. It's a black currant bomb, and that's the whole way through, but very leathery, mossy type of feel. The saffron provides this leathery smell to it. It is really freaking good. This is another one where the hype is justified. They're around 60 bucks. Some people I've heard find it in the 40 some odd dollar range. I know Steve from Kingdom Fragrance texted me today at the recording of this. He's about to stock this one. Um, so <laughs> I'll make sure to let you guys know. And his prices are always phenomenal. So I'm sure it'll be one of the cheapest prices on the internet if you're looking for this one. I paid a little over 60 on eBay for this one. And it's well worth 60 bucks in my opinion. This stuff is a monster in performance. The quality is good, is very good, above average. And the scent is magnificent. It's unapologetically masculine, and it's been a complete joy to wear. And here's the beauty. I don't find it too redundant if you have Supremacy Silver. Supremacy Silver is more accurate to Creed Aventus than this is. This is kind of a standalone fragrance with Creed Aventus vibes, in my opinion. Been loving this stuff. During the day, Saturday, Supremacy, not only intense from Afnan. And then I just got out the shower before recording this video. I haven't sprayed my scent of the evening on just yet. We're about to do so now with Banana Republic, Dark Cherry, and Amber. I just picked this one up from Burlington with tobacco and tonka bean. Make sure to check out that rack store video if you haven't yet. And uh, I love this stuff. As expected, when I went and let my wife smell it, she loves it. The, the scent lingered after I left the room, she had told me later on. And uh, not a monster in performance. It's not some eight hour beast. It's the first round of wearing about six hours, which I mean, $23 I paid for this fragrance. It smells great. I love the cherry in it. It's a little sweet at the same time. There's like a praline note in here that provides a little bit of a candied sweetness. It does not come across as too feminine. I think it's completely unisex and everybody can wear it. This is one of those fragrances you and your significant other can share. I'm speaking to gentlemen and ladies, whoever happens to buy this, both of you can wear this. It just You just have to like sweet and fruity basically is what it comes down to. And it's a great fragrance. It's eluded me for a long time. This and tobacco and tonka bean had eluded me for years now. I've been wanting to see them pop up at the rack store. Finally came across them. Super happy to scoop them up. They're two of the best from the Banana Republic icon line. Out the shower this evening. Banana Republic, dark cherry and amber. Well, that was this week's rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What did you guys wear this week? Please sound off in the comments. I love reading those comments. It's my favorite ones of the week. And uh, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors and the NBA Finals champions. Uh, sorry for those of you that are Boston Celtics fans. I was good either way. I like the Celtics. I like the Warriors. Even though I'm a Pelicans fan, I never have a dog in the fight when it comes to the NBA Finals. So, you know, it comes down to I like certain players. I'm a big Steph Curry guy. I like Jason Tatum. I was going to be happy with whoever won, but like I said, congrats to the Warriors. For those of you NBA fans, you get it. And uh, until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances that I wore this past week in my rotation and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later because depending on which scents, most of these are very affordable. You'll smell great on a budget. Have a good one, guys.